right, so we have here a square and a circle with a stroke. And what we're going to do, we are going to generate 3D models from these using the extrude and bevel. So I'm going to select first the square and I'm going to go to effects, 3D, extrude and bevel. And as you can see, we don't get anything at the very beginning. So what we have to do, we have to hit preview. Okay. And as you can see now, we have a extruded square. So we can rotate the uh, square or cube right here. And again, like the video issues that we had with the revolve, if you see this wireframe right here, on the surface, go to wireframe and then go to plastic shading and it should take care of that. Then what we're going to deal with is the extrude depth. The extrude depth has to do with how deep you want this extrusion to be. So if I go to 148, this is what I get. Okay. Then the other option that we have under extrude and bevel, obviously, is the bevel. So if I click on the bevel and I go to classic, you will notice that it attaches this bevel to the edges. I can have the bevel go out by clicking on the first button right here, bevel extend out, and I can have the bevel go in. But then I'm going to get certain rendering issues, so I'm going to stick to out. And here under height is how we control the uh, amount of bevel that we get. So this would be 14. Let me rotate sideways so you can see the bevel. And this is a height of 24. So I'm going to drop it down to something like a 5 and I'm going to play with the different types. We can go to complex. Okay. Then we have complex 2, complex 3, then we have complex 4 and on and on. So these are here for you to play with, to see what you're going to use. Um, experiment with these. And again, um, once you switch between bevel types, if you have an issue with the rendering, just um, go from plastic to wireframe, and then from wireframe, go to plastic shading. To add textures, we're going to go to map. And as you navigate, and I will navigate, to the uh, correct surface which it looks like to be number one and there it is so if I enlarge my symbol and hit OK you can see how it's taking over the surface I can rotate this guy and again to get rid of that wireframe just go into wireframe and then back to plastic. If I want to do the uh, circle, again, we're going to select the circle. We're going to go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. And again, we have to click on Preview. We can extend our extrusion. same rendering issues, wireframe and then plastic shading. And I'm going to map a symbol. And in this case, as you can see, surface was number one and I'm going to hit OK 